Welcome to Gamer Station Indie Game News. I'm your host, Stephen Snake Ukulinzi, and we have a packed video this week that we're going to split it into two. So we're going to have one video up today and another video up tomorrow or Friday. Minecraft gets official release. So after being in alpha for so long and in the past months being in beta, finally the game that more or less everybody seems to own has finally gotten an official release date. It'll be coming out on November 11th. So you know that's 11, 11, 11. And that's also known as the release date of a, you know, little small game called Elder Scrolls Skyrim. Though it will be officially released, Notch admits that the game won't really technically be complete as there will still be updates coming after that date. But speaking of updates, version 1.5 should be out this week or next, which will add weather effects, achievements, and statistics and much more. Also, lastly, Minecraft has now gained $33 million in sales from 1.8 million paid players. Blocks That Matter, New Picks, Release Date, and Price We've talked about this game twice in previous videos. It's a little like Minecraft, a little like Tetris, a little like a platformer, and a little like Monica in my life. Swing Swing Submarine recently revealed some new pictures for their game. Eh, these pictures right here to be precise. Now it'll be coming out on XBLIG in April. As in the month that we're currently in. With like only two weeks left in it. Which means we don't have that long to wait for it. Now you can catch it on XBLIG for 240 Microsoft points when it comes out. Or that's, you know, $3 in real world money. And if you're like me, you only have one real-world dollar in your wallet, but $3.50 of your Microsoft fake online money, or 280 Microsoft points. Fortress Craft Released Remember in a previous video how we told you about a game that looked like an HD version of Minecraft and how there were several allegations that it was just a complete copy of Minecraft and it was coming to XBLIG? Well, good news! It's finally out and you can get it for 240 Microsoft Fun Points. To be fair though, there are some differences between Minecraft and Fortress Craft. Such as, you don't have to worry about mining to get materials. You have an infinite amount of materials from the start. At least for this current chapter. There is no creation of items because you have an infinite amount of said items that you will likely need. There is no enemies or threats out to get you, at least that I saw during my brief playthrough. You can place and destroy blocks from quite a ways away. There are some new blocks in this, such as bouncy blocks. You can get relics which carry over from world to world. And also, you have that pickaxe all the time, but it has no real purpose because it never moves. Also, the game uses your Xbox Live avatars and you can go into other people's worlds or they can come into yours. While in this version, there's primarily only building. In future chapters, which I'm going to assume that you will have to pay for, there will be stuff such as PvP, mining, and more. Also, apparently I've heard from some sources that this game has already sold 30,000 copies in two days. But I couldn't quite confirm this anywhere else, so I'm not 100% positive on that. The XBLIG rating manipulation goes deeper. Now we've been trying our best to keep you up to date on this matter, as best as we can in our weekly formats. Now if you recall, this allegation has been going around for a while, but it only came to real fruitation when Robert Boyd of Zaboyd Games mentioned about a game asking their fans to give their game a 5 star rating, and around the same time, several other highly rated games began to get a massive surplus of 1 star ratings, and even Zaboyd's own Cthulhu Saves the World dropped several spots in a matter of days, which could only come from an overload of 1 star ratings. Now, recently Michael Neal over at devlistio.us wrote an article about this matter and mentioned how easy it was to easily manipulate the scores. Now, to test his theory, he created several fake accounts and he mentioned that there's no verification email, so you can just tell them a fake email and you're good. And he upvoted his games from around 
1,400th in popularity, all the way up to number 28, and he only really voted for an hour. Now, even more startling is that Robert Boyd found a website where someone was asking for people to create 5,000 Xbox Live accounts for him, just about a month ago when a lot of this was boiling. Now, this definitely proves that Microsoft needs to come up with a solution to this issue, hopefully sometime soon. No time to explain Kickstarter. No time to explain start off as a browser game. Now it has bigger plans. Now we've talked about this upgrade in recent videos, but now they're looking for some support for their game. The money they provide will improve the quality of the game and to help make the game available on the iOS device. Now the money that goes over the goal will go towards making the game on the PS3 or the NGP 360 and getting stands for upcoming conventions. So, there's no time to explain. Just go and help out. Streets of Rage Remake Pulled Last week, we highly recommended a fan-made remake of Streets of Rage. Well, as it goes, the man has come down and taken down the game. The man in this case, Sega. Though on the Streets of Rage remake site, at least I'm told, there is mention that they sent a formal letter to Sega, and if they sent that... It appears that Sega only had issues when the game started to get some press coverage. Now, in a response to questioning by Kotaku, Sega Europe had this to say. Sega is committed to supporting any fans that take an interest in our games. And where possible, we do so by involving them in beta tests and other development or research opportunities. However, we need to protect our intellectual property rights. And this may result in us requesting that our fans remove online imagery, videos, or games in some instances. Now this isn't the first time that we've heard about prolific fan games being taken down by request of the original developer only after everyone else started talking about said game. Though it is a shame as the game was quite good and they worked on the game for 8 years. Which is a lot more effort than Sega's put in in a lot of Sonic games recently. hi -yo! The Humble Frozen Bite Bundle now, the newest Humble Bundle hath arrived. And well, let's just let it explain it to you. Three classic indie games and two never before seen indie gaming projects are about to combine in a bundle so cool. It's frozen. <clears throat> I mean, frozen. Introducing the Humble Frozen Bite Bundle. It's pay what you want. DRM free, cross platform, and helps charity. Trine, making its Linux debut inside the bundle. Leverage the unique attributes of the knight, the thief, and the wizard to crush your enemies, to see them driven before you, and to platform your way through the levels. Shadowground Survivor, now available on Mac and Linux. Survival isn't so easy in this alien infested world. But whether you like your creepy crawlies medium rare or char broiled, this is a game for you. Shadow Grounds, now available on Mac and Linux. This is the original Frozen Bite game that started it all. Oh yeah, and these first three games come complete with their original soundtracks. Jack Claw, a never before seen prototype. Ever wanted to juggle cars around like they were puppies? Well now you can. Just don't try to pick your nose with your claw hand. It's Windows only, but you can dry your tears in the source code. Splot. Splot is still in development, but buying the bundle automatically gets you a Splot pre-order. And the concept art is adorable. Oh, uh, is that guy an ice cream cone? X marks the Splot. By default, a portion of every bundle purchase will help out the Electronic Frontier Foundation and Child's Play Charity. So don't be bashful about putting your hands on your own bundle. <laughs> Go to HumbleBundle.com At HumbleBundle.com Click the red button Look it down! Step 1 Name your price Buying the bundle for $10 isn't cool You know, it's cool Buying the bundle for a bajillion Uh, a hundred dollars Yeah, it's... Step 2 Choose how your money gets split Use the presets or customize the sliders to your liking Step 3 Say no to typos as you punch in your email address Step 4. Check the box if you're gifting the bundle to that special someone. Then click on your preferred payment processor. Fill in your credit card information, complete your purchase, and you should be sent a link to your game download page. 
If anything goes wrong, don't worry. Contact us at contact at humblebundle.com or visit the live chat widget on the site. Some of the live chat operators will be members of the Frozen Byte team themselves, so it could be a fun chance for you to talk to the developers directly. Don't keep this promotion to yourself. Facebook share it, tweet it, and like the video on YouTube to help us spread the word. Our Complex becomes a full-blown game. Released last year, or the year before, Our Complex was a short game involving you controlling a character that was running away from a very strange squid-like creature or something. Now, the group is now looking to get some funding to help make their game for those iOS devices, Android devices, and possibly Windows and Mac. You can go and download the original and get a feel for it, and if you like it, maybe help these guys out. Miracle Adventure and 2113 Now, right now, not much is known about this game. What we do know though is... is that this is supposed to be a spiritual successor or heavily based upon a NES game that none of us really know about. Other things that we can infer from the trailer is that you'll have the ability to redirect enemies' bullets using a glowing orb. Also, your character can fly. Rainblood 2 Trailer Back when we still had a website that we used and updated, we talked about an RPG called Rainblood. Now this was a Chinese game that took three years to get translated into English. Now the sequel to said game has been in the works and a new trailer for it has been revealed recently. The game features a unique battle system as well as hand-drawn characters and drawings. Now this trailer is about 9 minutes long so we're not going to show you all of it. But if you want to get all the details and see the entire trailer, we have the link for you provided below. And today, we're going to end with a launch trailer for Anomaly Warzone Earth, which is now available on Steam. So to remind you, either tomorrow or Friday we'll have up the second part of this video, and also every Wednesday we'll have a new video in this series. Also on Sundays we have our Browser Games of the Week videos, which is where we talk about some of the better browser games for the week. So if you like our videos, please subscribe to us to be up to date on all of our videos. So without further ado, here it is, Anomaly Warzone Earth. Thank <laughs> you.